Hi everyone, Joe from Threes. Time for another shave video. And uh, today's shave is a Scottish shave. Uh, yesterday, the missus and I met a, a lovely, lovely couple, and they're from Scotland. And uh, we met up at Pastor's, and then we grabbed a bite to eat at this place. And we, we, we had a ball. I mean, the women got along great. Uh, and of course, Brian and I got along great. It was Brian and Rowena Miles, and they're from Falkirk, Scotland. And we got, I mean, if they lived close by, we would be getting together all the time. What, what a lovely, lovely couple. What, what great people they are. You know, one of the things I love about this uh, shaving thing and this community of ours is that the nicest people belong to our groups. And Brian, you know, belongs to, uh, you know, the, uh, the shaving forums and watches YouTube and, you know, he knows me from YouTube. And uh, they came for vacation, or should I say for holiday. From Scotland and we spent the day together and uh, we saw Leon and Junior was there and uh, you know it was his first time there so he was shopping and you know it was you know kid in the candy store and uh, you know he traveled a long ways but I think one of the highlights of his New York trip is gonna be Pasteur's but uh, you know so we started there the women went next door to the uh, to the coffee shop and they uh, they sat and talked, and allowed us to spend as much time as we needed in Pastors, and uh, you know we, we we had a great time. It was fantastic. And afterwards, you know, I'll uh, he brought me some gifts that I want to show you, some shaving gifts, and some other gifts that I'll show you after the shave. I'll, I'll show you these shaving gifts now. And uh, what a guy! So time for a Scottish shave. So uh, I'll show you. What we're going to use today. I'll start with the razor. I don't have a Scottish razor. <laughs> I don't know if they make any. So we're going to stay in the UK and we're going to use a, uh, a rocket. Uh, I don't know uh, when it was made. There's no date code on the, on the bottom. But it's, uh, it's all it says is Gillette, made in England. And it's the rockets. It's, a, it's, a, it's very similar to the ones that were made here, the super speeds. But you can see the spacing is a little bit different. And uh, this is the, and I think the, you know, one is probably a little bit more aggressive than the other, but I think they're very similar. So uh, this is the uh, Gillette Rocket. We're gonna use this today for our Scottish shave. Now, uh, he brought me some, uh, some some blades, Brian. He got me two packs of these, and I, I've been dying to try them. These Derby uh, Premiums. Now, the, the original Derbys, I don't care for it. I think a lot of us don't care for it. But what do, what do you call these uh, across the pond? Packets, two packets? The blades and uh, they each have five blades in them and it's the Derby Premium so we're gonna give it a go today it's the first time I'm using a, a Derby Premium let's see uh, how it's packaged let's see how they package these blades up let's take a look there it is the Derby Premium it's in a, in a wax paper and we're gonna open it up hopefully these are much better than the uh, original derbies. I think maybe they learned their lesson when they made uh, these. They said, you know what, the others aren't selling and we got to do a little better. So this is the uh, Derby Premium blade. So let's put that in our rocket. Twist to open rocket. And there it is. And we'll close it up. The barn doors are closing. And there's very slight overhang to be careful of. And we're loaded up to go. Uh, shaving creams, soaps. He brought me uh, two. These are made in Scotland. And it's a place called the Gentleman's Groom Room. And they're located in Dundee, in Scotland. Now, for some reason, when I think of Dundee, something else comes to my mind. But uh, there's a place called Dundee. And, and he brought me these two. Uh, this is uh, Essence of Scotland with Scottish Heather. And this is a traditional uh, shaving soap, Essence of Scotland, Malt and Myrtle. So I smell them both. They're both great. One had a win. And uh, the Scottish Heather, I think, was my favorite of the two. So that's what we're going to use today. 
and it's uh it looks like a beer the head on a beer look at that it's a it's a soft a foamy head to it that's strange it's, it's a brown salt and it's got that so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna let it uh, soak a little bit before we use it I smell it as soon as I open it oh it's so good so good and uh, we're gonna use that he also got me some small samples he brought me of uh, I don't think they're Scottish, but you know some. Uh, what is the True Foot and Hill? True Foot and Hill, and uh, Trumpa and Flores. You know, some nice samples here to use. It's good for travel too. So he, he, very generous. I can't say I can't say enough. All right, let's put a little uh, pre-shave on, and I'll show you the aftershave stuff when we get to it too. Fantastic. So we're gonna stay. I don't have any Scottish pre-shave. So, uh, a little Parasso from me, from Italy. A little pre shave because I showered a couple hours ago. I have about three days of growth. So, we need a little pre shave action going. There it is. There's our pre shave. Parasso. This one I, I really love. This is the, the white, they also make a green. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, maybe one had to, maybe the green has the menthol in it. But uh, for that, so it can't go wrong. So we're gonna let that soak in a few minutes. Today's brush that I have soaking, it's from England. <laughs> it's the Simpson, it's the uh, most, I, I forgot which uh, model they call it. It's the least expensive one, the smallest one, because these are expensive brushes. But uh, Simpson makes, Makes a great brush. You know, we're staying in Great Britain, so we're going to use the uh, the Simpson. All righty, put a little water in there, and now we're going to lather it up. So here we go. We're going to begin our Scottish shave, and you can see we're going right through it. Now I don't know if that head is going to stay there throughout the life of the the soap, but I don't know, or it takes time that, you know, might be, you know, the product in there that, you know, like a yeast makes it raw. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Let's, let's get cracking for a Scottish shave. I'm getting it all over the shirt. Brand new shirt. Just picked it up after lunch yesterday at the uh, 2nd Avenue Deli. Wow, this is lathering up nice. Very, very nice. And as you can see, it's all over the shirt. But the uh, face lathering, and it's lathering away. Good stuff in Scotland. I'd love to go there one day and visit. I really would. It's just, it's not around the corner, though. That's the only thing. But we, we got along great. Four of us, we had a, a great time. You know, they got to try New York Deli, which is, you know, something that we only have around here, you know. But one day maybe I'll get there and try some Scottish food, you know. Clean up a little bit. And we'll wet the blade up a little bit. Uh, Gillette Rocket. And here we go, first pass. With the grain. Very, very good. With the grain. But what a nice time we had, you know, with Pasteur's and afterwards, you know, taking our walk over to the deli, which was you know, probably about four blocks away. And we spent a couple of hours in the deli. And we finished off with their version of an egg cream. You see, this, this place, it's, uh, they can only serve uh, meat product. They can't serve any dairy products. It's a kosher deli. So you can't serve both. You've got to pick one or the other. So, 
there was no milk. At the end, they give you like an egg cream, but there's no milk in it. So it's sort of like a phosphate kind of thing. To top off the meal. And it's our first pass with the grain. About three days to grow. About three days, I would say. So between the uh, rocket, and you know what? Derby really, they improved that blade. They really did. I gotta tell you, if that was the original Derby, forget it. I think they got their uh, act together. I'm gonna lather up for pass two, which is across the grain. Now, Brian and Rowena had uh, quite a sandwich they split. I think I had three meats on it. Corned beef, pastrami, and I think salami. It was too much for one person, so they split it. And the wife and I, we split a sandwich too. And we had pierogies, pickles, coleslaw, potato salad. They brought out some uh, appetizers for us, uh, like a buckwheat thing called uh, kasha varnishkas. And uh, they also brought out some uh, mushroom barley. Very good. If, if you want to see their menu, they have like on a pack of the back of the shirt, a lot of the things we ate there. So, great restaurant. Here we go, cross. Still hear the audio feedback. Really nice restaurant. Really nice people. As we go across the grain. And I always gotta be careful at the mustache, that's where I always come into trouble. See the feedback there. That's a good soak. And it's a good blade. I had my doubts, Derby, but I've used their, uh, their soap in a, in a tub and the sticks. I like their, uh, their soap. But I never cared for their uh, and tube. I also have some tubes of the uh, shaved cream. But I never cared for their uh, blades before. That's a nice blade, though. It's up there with uh, any other blade that I would use: uh, a Vashkard, a, a Pulse Silver, an Astra. It, it's up there with it. A little more soap for our final pass, and we'll see if we need any pickups. Thank you again, Brian, for all this. Very generous. And the soap's right up. Don't even have to do the uh, mug. Lather's right up. I like the lather a little bit on the thick side. Okay. Where did I put the razor? It's here somewhere. I know I put the razor down. There it is. I put it in the water where I can't see it. Okay, final pass against the grain south to north. Still getting the uh, audio feedback on it. So here we are, the middle of September. Still warm out. Yesterday, we were walking around. It was, it was quite warm and humid. I don't know what the weather's like. In, in Scotland, if it stays that uh, that hot for so long, but it was it was a nice day. The weather was perfect. And we're gonna finish up. See here, it's less uh, less for the audio. Except for there. 
still hear it. Still hear it. I got the step deck ready just in case. All right. Here we are. Uh oh. I'm gonna fail. All right. That means you got you got a close shave. If you don't bleed, it's not a close shave. And right, that's number two. We'll see if the alum does it. And still here. And the soap leaves you enough lubrication to give those touch ups without adding any, I think. I think we're there. Okay, we're gonna rinse. First the hot. And now the cold. And we're rinsed. And hopefully the alum will uh, take care of these little weepers that we have. Hopefully it'll uh, do the trick. A little water on the alum. There we go. And hopefully, between that and the astringent we're going to use, we'll, uh, we'll be all right. No trips to the emergency room today. Okay. BBS. Really good blade. Really good blade. Derby, you, you did it. Out of the cellar. Out of the cellar, back in the uh, in the rotation. All right. We let it sit for a minute. The alum. We'll wash it off. And I don't think uh, we have to bring Mr. Stiptick into the uh, into the equation today. Very very nice shave. Very nice. I'm gonna go out later it's Saturday. I'm gonna go out again tonight. Not with. Uh, with Brian and Rowena, but we're gonna go out and grab something and uh, local. We're not gonna go into Manhattan. And uh, I'll have a nice shave. Alrighty, let's use some astringent. I know I took some out and I put it here somewhere, but I can't find it because I didn't bring it out. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some astringent. I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> I had this in the other room, full bottle. The Thay is uh, medicated aloe vera formula, which hazel. You can see it's from past doors. And, and I love this little cap. You can just pop it open. Let's see if I can pop it open here. Yes, I can. And look how handy that is. You don't have to unscrew the cap each time you want to use it. So we'll put a little, little bit of this on before we go to the aftershave. Okay, and we'll snap to close. All right. Thayers. Thayers and Humphreys are my favorite uh, witch hazels, I think. I like the others too. Those are my main mainstays. But, uh, okay. Brian also brought me, I know this is uh, widely available, readily available in the UK, Boots the Chemist. This is the Freshwood Aftershave. I can't get this here. You know, Boots has has a little bit of a line here. It's I think it's Boots 9, Boots number 9, something like that. And uh, it's only a limited thing. I don't even bother. I wish this was more readable, readable <laughs> you know, available uh, here in the US, but it's not. But thank you again, Brian, for bringing this. It's really nice. And I know it's not expensive over there. You know, to ship it here would be prohibitive, but really nice stuff. Oh, it's really nice. There's our, oh, we'll get back here. Just like in past doors when I dropped it. Uh, I, at least I just dropped the cap today. So there's our boots. Aftershave, uh, fresh wood. All right, what else did Brian bring me? 
also from uh, Men's Grooming, Thistle and Black Pepper Aftershave Balm, made in Scotland. And uh, I never saw this before, it's not available here. I was kind enough to bring it over. And uh, I, I really like the color of the, uh, the tube with the balm. It's like a nice burnt orange, thistle and black pepper aftershave balm. The Scottish Fine Soaps Company makes this over there in Scotland. So let's finish up with a little balm. And it's a nice thick balm. It's not a watery balm. We'll put the moist. Oh, it really smells nice. Oh, smell that. That's nice. That's nice stuff. All right. That's our shave. That's our shave, a Scottish shave, thanks to our, our new friends that, uh, that came over from Scotland. And uh, it's a shame they have to go back. Great couple, but we both, we, you know, me and, and the missus and, and the two of them, we, we got all got along great. So, I mean, they were such nice people, such nice people. So uh, that ends the shave portion of, of our video today. But we're going to go in the other room. I'm going to show you some of the other things that uh, Brian and Rowena brought. So uh, come on with me into the other room and uh, we'll finish the video there. So I'll see you over there. And I'm back. And we're in the other room now. I just want to show you some of the other things. I forgot to show you inside. He also brought me a couple of sticks of the palm olive. That's uh, easy to get there. Not as easy to get here. So I uh, forgot to tell you, I'm going to be shaving all year. All right. So what else? We have some uh, Mrs. Tilly's. Nobody makes it better. Delicious tablets. Uh, Scottish traditional confectionery. Great taste. And it's like a, uh, I, I guess it's sort of like a, a confection. I guess they would call <laughs> it something like that. So, uh, brought us that. We're going to have that now. Uh, the wife wanted to try it uh, last night, but we had, I said, now you got to wait till after I do the shave today, and then we'll open it later. Because, uh, and a couple of these uh, Dean's Melt in the Mouth, baked by hand. Uh, these are all butter, uh, light and crumbly shortbread fingers. Look at that. Got me two of these. Uh, yeah, I bet you these are good. And uh, I guess they would call them biscuits. We would call them a cookie, but I guess uh, uh, they would call it a biscuit. And we're going to try these later. And to wash it down, he, he was just too kind, Brian, just too kind. Look what we're going to wash it down with. Some single uh, single malt uh, scotch whiskey. Look at that. We're going to wash it down with that later. Comes in with a nice tube. And put that down. And there it is. He brought me this. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try a little. I'm gonna have to open it up. It's sealed. And I I didn't get everything, did I? Nah. We'll, we'll fix it though. I have my uh, Gillette knife, my office knife. There it is. You can see it. My Gillette knife. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut the camera for it because I don't want, if I do it while I'm filming, I'll probably end up in the emergency room. So let me give me a minute. I'm gonna cut this open and then and we're gonna uh, take the top off and uh, we'll take it from there. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Thank you, King Gillette. Not only do we use uh, his products for uh, shaving, we use them for uh, a lot of other things also. So we got the uh, top off, and I'm gonna love that sound. Uh, I, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. So we're gonna pour a little bit in. There we are. There we are. Good cigar will go good with this, huh? We're just gonna have this. Okay. So to all my shaving buddies all over the world, and here in America too. 
Here's to your health. Uh, we have the Jewish New Year coming up uh, this week. So those of us that are celebrating it, Shana Tova, a happy and a sweet year. And L'chaim to life. And all the best to uh, all my friends on YouTube and on Facebook uh, for a, a happy and healthy New Year and a great uh, autumn season. And all the best. So L'chaim. I don't know what the toast is in Scottish. I'm sure there's a toast, but I don't know it. And that's about it from here in New York. So take care. We'll see you soon with another Shea video. And stay well. Take care.